Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and welcome to 31 days of yoga. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Wendy. So pleased to have you here today. And if you're into health, fitness, and yoga related videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. And then while you're at it, click that little bell icon to be notified every time I post, which through the month of January will be every single day. Okay, so I today I have for you a fun breakdown class. You could tell by the title, we're gonna break down crow pose. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to come into crow pose all the way, but we will attempt it at the end of class. And I'll give you, several preparatory postures beforehand and several ways that can kind of ease you into it without throwing you into hot water. So without any further ado, we will need two blocks and a mat. And if you are really new at Crow or you've never even come into it before, it might be helpful to have a pillow in front of you. It's more of a mental thing, but it definitely helps when leaning into it. Okay, so once again, we'll just go ahead and get started on our mats. We're gonna lay down. Let's just take a moment here, send our hands up towards the sky. Let's find some rotations through the wrists, just one direction and then the other. When I think of crow pose and I think of the body parts that we need to warm up, I think of the wrists, the arms, the core, and even a little bit of the quads and the legs. Good, once we feel pretty good in our wrists, let's go ahead. We're gonna pull both of our knees into our chest, just find a little bit of movement side to side. We're gonna get into the core aspect of this class. So let's go ahead, extend our hands above the head, extend our legs down, and then look up towards the legs. So this should already be a little bit of a challenging position. You might see me shaking just a little bit. Inhale here, as we exhale, we're gonna pull our knees into our triceps, look up. It's like we're pressing our hands into our ceiling. So this is like crane pose, an even more advanced variation of crow. Next inhale, let's release. Exhale, pull it back in. Try to hop your tailbone off the ground, your shoulders off the ground, squeeze the heels in towards the glutes. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring it back in. Hold, 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 hold. And release. Bring those knees into the chest. And let's just rock ourselves up. And we're going to come all the way through to plank. So place the hands down underneath the shoulders, push yourself up, plank pose. A little bit more of that core engagement here, but we're really gonna focus on the wrists. So we'll find some circles over the wrists, going one direction. Good, and then going the other direction. Perfect, when you're ready, bend through the knees, shoot the hips back, downward dog. While we're here, just gently walk it out. Let's take our toes, you know, a little bit wider. Take our heels together. From here, let's just go ahead, bend our knees deeply. We might need to reduce our stance just a little bit to help ourselves sink in between the thighs. And you can notice that I'm kind of wiggling out through the hips here, just trying to find a little bit of depth through the hips. Okay, so we're gonna take five rounds of hopping forward and back. Now, don't worry too much about where you actually hop. Even if it's a very small front and back, it'll definitely warm you up and give a little bit of activation to those quads. So from here, we're going to try to hop up to the outside of the hands. Hop back to that frog pose, kind of. Hop forward to the outside of the hands. Hop back, good, forward, back, forward, back. Try to find a little bit of lightness here and back, one more, forward and back. Excellent. From here, let's go ahead, 
we'll grab one of our blocks. We'll open up our feet. You can be facing long ways on your mat. And we'll just sit on our block in Malasana. So let's take our hands to the inside of our knees. We'll press them apart. Try to press your chest forward. So this is a good preparatory pose. It locks your knees in by your triceps. Helps you to lengthen through the spine. It almost creates the shape of pose of crow pose, but not quite. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of warm up going on, a little bit of stimulation through the body, we'll go ahead and attempt crow pose. So I'll show you two different entrances that I enjoy and one that I enjoy a little bit more than the other, but it's a little bit more challenging. So we'll go ahead and try both. Okay, let's go ahead, set our block off to the side. And then in Malasana, somewhere near the top of the mat, but so that you have enough room to set your hands down on the mat as well. Okay, so we're gonna start our entrance here, setting our hands about, you know, shoulder distance apart. And you'll notice I just kind of do a lot of little movements here. Uh, you can stay still if you'd like. Okay, so to start, we're not gonna fully come into it yet, but this is just one option for a crow pose. And it's a little bit wider. This one does get into your hips a lot more than the other one. So we're gonna bend our elbows. We're going to squeeze our knees on either side of those elbows. We're gonna lean ourselves forward and lean ourselves back. So toes never leave the ground. Just leaning forward up onto the tiptoes and leaning back. Leaning forward and leaning back. So you can probably tell by now, crow pose, it's strength for sure, but it's also a lot more stacking of the body and being okay with leaning forward. So let's try one more time. This time we can play around with maybe lifting a foot or two. So we're going to lean forward, really squeeze the knees in. Maybe you can pick up your right toes, set them down. Pick up the left toes, set them down. If you'd like to try, you can lean forward even more, pick up both toes. And slowly come down. All right, roll out the wrists. Good. Let me show you one more option here, utilizing blocks. So the blocks are gonna go underneath your feet and they kind of give your hips just a little bit of a lift here. So we're gonna step onto the blocks, you know, just a little bit more than hip distance apart. We're going to come down. We'll probably not have our heels grounded, that's okay. And then set the hands down onto the ground. Go ahead, bend the elbows a little bit, squeeze the knees in, and then we can kind of lean forward. You don't even have to lift up and lean back. Can lean forward and you can lean back. Almost lost a block there. You can lean forward and lean back. Good. One more time if you'd like to, we can try lifting a leg or lifting a foot. So lean forward. Maybe your right foot hovers. Come on back. Lean forward. Maybe your left foot hovers. Come on back. Last one, if you'd like to try. You can lean forward. Maybe both of your feet hover. And slowly bring it back. Very good. Let's set those blocks off to the side. We'll come into one more variation or one more entrance. And I would say that this is a little bit more challenging just because I, it's a really good prep for moving this into crane pose, with is with, which is with our arms straight. So when our arms are straight, we don't have a shelf for our legs. So to lock our knees into place, you really wanna lock them into the armpit space. So how we start is up on our feet. And then I like to bend the knees. Maybe you take a chair pose. 
we'll start to come up onto our tiptoes, lower all the way down to the heels. Now our knees are really close together, that's okay. We're going to set our hands forward, maybe lift our hips up so that your knees knock right into that armpit space. Now you can bend your knee elbows here, no big deal, you just have more of a shelf area. Now lean forward, this one doesn't really serve too much to come back, but we can straighten out the arms, lift up, bend the elbows, lean forward, straighten out the arms, lift up, one more, lean forward, bend the elbows, straighten out, lift up. Last one, if we want to come down, we can try lifting one foot, Maybe lifting the other foot, maybe both feet. Lift, hold, and release. Whew. Very good. If that was a bit of a challenge, it was for me too. So don't even worry about it. Even if you never found a moment of flight, literally don't worry about it. So it's always good if we're working towards a pose that we you know, at least attempt the pose. So as long as you made some attempts, even if that just means shifting forward and back, adding some weight to your hands, that'll get you used to that arm balancing mentality. And crow pose for me at least was a huge gateway to be able to get into bunch of other arm balances. So I hope that you enjoyed today. <laughs> Go ahead and catch your breath. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow. Namaste.